Hi, I'm the Urban Raja and I'm here at School of Wok and I'm going to be taking you through a few of the nation's favourite Indian recipes. This one, however, is a fusion. It's a mix of the best of Chinese cooking and the best of Indian cooking put together. It is my Indo chilli paneer. It's textured, it's hot, it's spicy, it's sour. What's not to love? Welcome to Chili Paneer. The thing about paneer is that it is like probably India's answer to halloumi cheese. Um, you can't just tear off a piece and just eat it raw. It has to be cooked through. Um, and it tastes amazing when you start to park it with some of the flavors that we're gonna go through to today. Um, but here's my pet hate about paneer. Um, I just despise it when people throw it into a wet curry and just cook it through without toasting it beforehand. So we're gonna take about 500 grams of paneer cubed. I'm gonna take about four tablespoons of corn flour because the corn flour is gonna coat it and it's gonna give us a lovely kind of crispy kind of texture as well. And into that bowl, just a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt as well. And a touch of pepper. Now I've got my pan on a, a medium kind of high heat. I'm just gonna warm that up, but while I'm doing that, we wanna coat all of that paneer. Just get our hands into that. I know what you're thinking. He's wearing black and he's using flour. It's gonna go all over him. You're absolutely right, it probably will. So that's kind of what we're looking for, for our paneer to be nice and coated. Into our pan, medium high heat. We're gonna take one, two, three, four tablespoons of vegetable oil. So we want our oil to be at a medium kind of high heat and I'm gonna test just to see whether it's ready to cook. Just sprinkle in a little bit of corn flour. Now it's just starting to bubble to the surface. So I kind of think we're now ready for our paneer to start frying off. And immediately you can hear it in the pan starting to sizzle. So what I'm gonna do is just take it down just a notch the rest of our paneer in. I'm going to do them in batches because we want to see our paneer start to brown and tan on all sides. So see, you can start to see it now starting to turn already. And that's what we're looking for. We want that lovely kind of, I call giraffe patches um, because they're nice and sort of tanned. That's going to give us the kind of texture uh, that we're looking for. So we want to fry these off in batches until we have this lovely kind of crispy outer jacket. Perfect, this is what you're after. This is what you're looking for. You wanna see these little patches on the paneer start to crisp and toast and you know that it's ready. What I'm gonna do is just start to take out some of the toasted batches and then just keep adding to the pan. And just keep repeating it. I'm just gonna drain it on a little bit of kitchen towel as well. So now on to the main event. We're gonna be cooking our onions, some peppers, a little bit of chili as well, because it wouldn't be chili paneer without a little bit of chili. Um, and so what I have is over a medium high heat, I'm gonna add just like a, a tablespoon or two of oil, just normal veg oil. I have two red onions, just roughly chopped. We want that lovely kind of chunky, kind of coarse texture. And we're gonna be cooking these onions um, until they're nice and kind of soft. A little bit of colour, but we want that texture. We don't want them to be too wilty, because this dish is all about a mix of heat, some sweetness, some sourness as well. 
uh, but definitely this is all about sensory action. Um, so we want a little bit of texture going on in this dish. And what you'll notice is that the onions, and the reason I'm using red onions is not only because they look fabulous as uh, an ingredient, um, but they're also just a little bit kind of milder. There's almost kind of like a, a slight kind of sweeter kind of profile to them. And you'll notice that as they start to cook through, you'll see they've got a lovely kind of glossiness to their skin. Oh, got some escapees. Back in the pan, you traitors. Now, the onions, are just starting to see them turn at the edges. A little bit brown, but still got that kind of glossy look to them. So they've been in the pan for a couple of minutes. Fairly high heat, turned it down a little bit, and in go our peppers. So we have one green pepper, one red pepper. And why am I adding peppers? Well, apart, get, apart from obviously the texture and the flavor that you get from peppers, you get a lovely kind of sweetness. Our peppers go in. They make friends with the onion. Look at that. I mean, that is, that's like, a, that's like a rainbow in the pan here. And you know, the thing about these ingredients, you know, they're really simple ingredients, but when you cook them and you use really good ingredients, just but with a few kind of added, you know, spices or, or what have you, um, you just let these ingredients just do all of the talking. And it smells amazing. Now I'm gonna to add to our pan, some pre-chopped green chilies. You're looking for, dependent on kind of how hot you want this dish, I don't mind it kind of hot, it is, it is chilli paneer. I'm gonna add about one, two, three, I'll go on then, four, teaspoons of chopped chilli. What does that translate to? About kind of three or four finger green chilies, the skinny ones. And here's the general rule. The bigger the chili, the milder it is. The smaller the chili, the firepower. It's got just more firepower going on. And the bit about adding raw chili straight into a hot pan is that sometimes it hits the back of your throat. Um, and, and sometimes it, it just kind of leaves me with a bit of a cough, coughing fit. But I'm gonna stand back just while it does its own thing. Now, I'm gonna leave all of those ingredients just to cook for a little bit while I make up our sauce. The sauce we're using for our chili paneer is a very, very simple one. So, go to take two tablespoons tomato ketchup. That gives us a little bit of sweetness. To that, I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. Gives us a little bit of saltiness. And added to this, I'm gonna take one tablespoon of chili sauce. You can use something like a sriracha or something along those sort of lines. And what you're looking for is this kind of gorgeous tobacco colored sauce. It's got some firepower. It tastes amazing. That's gonna go into, that's gonna go into this pan very shortly. However, we need to add our toasted paneer. So that goes in next, together with all those ingredients. We'll just warm it through. Let the peppers, the onions, just mingle with the paneer. Say hello. And this is now about ready. See, this is a pretty straightforward, simple dish, pretty quick to, to make. In goes our sauce. Oh yeah, this is like wearing a nice kind of chili jacket. That's what we're looking for. It's gonna coat all of these ingredients. And this lovely kind of slit, glossy looking sauce. Yes! Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited by this dish. 
can't wait to taste this. And that is kind of what you're looking for. Let's take the heat down a little bit. That's what you're looking for. You want this gorgeous, kind of glossy looking, almost kind of barbecue-y looking sauce going on. And it's jammy, it's sweet, it's hot, it's got a little bit of sourness to it as well. And I can't wait to taste it. So, talking about tasting it, never ever serve up the dish until you've had a go yourself. It's called chef's prerogative. Now, the sweetness levels are right here. The kind of saltiness levels are right here. What it is missing is a little bit of chilli, because this is chilli paneer. So I'm going to go in with one more tablespoon of chilli sauce. Give that a good old mix around. Now this is a classic Indo-Chinese dish. And it's kind of, it's fast become one of India's favorite street food dishes to have. That is it, it's perfect. So now we're gonna plate up. Such a simple, quick dish. Super easy, super cheap, but high on the taste stakes. That is how you want your food. Mm. Mm. This just hits all the right notes. You know, it kind of confuses your taste buds because you have the creaminess that comes through from the toasted paneer. You then have this kind of lovely kind of sweetness from the tomato, um, tomato ketchup and the red onions. And then it's followed through with a lovely kind of rolling heat that just kind of keeps giving as a chilli sauce. And of course the green chilies that we used in it. Um, this is a dish that is so Moorish and it's mine, all mine. You're not having any, cook your own. Mm. Mm. Thanks for watching the video and hopefully you picked up some tasty tips on how to create delicious Indian cooking at home. Hop on to my channel for more recipes like this. It's urbanraja.com.